Hello. <laughs> Just a second, I check a clicker. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's so nice to see you all here at WordCamp Brighton. Uh, my name is Sabrina Zidan. I'm a WordPress multi-site consultant. I uh, help development teams uh, to um, build network of websites using WordPress multi-site functionality. Um, we all know, here we all know, um, what kind of powerful tool WordPress may be. You can run a personal blog, you can uh, build a spectacular por portfolio and um, make a ready-to-go online store with forms, newsletters, and uh, coupons, and everything in no time. But there is another way to use WordPress uh, that is not so obvious. Uh, you also can produce a solid web application with it um, easy, fast, and at significantly lower budget that, than uh, custom development. Uh, nowadays, when it comes to e-commerce development, clients are already prepared and know about WordPress and WooCommerce and are eager to use these tools to, be, to build online store. But when it comes to something, uh, some project that is more specific, uh, you may have hard times pitching WordPress as a flexible and powerful platform, as uh, people may be determined to use some custom solutions uh, because their project is not like others. Uh, recently, I joined um, a startup, a uh, SaaS startup, actually. Um, it offers meal plans for, uh, for different diets. User signs up, um, and uh, he, he, or more possibly she, picks a diet and get a ready-to-go meal plan uh, according to that diet. Um, she gets the uh, ready-to-go plan for the breakfast, lunch, with detailed recipes, with grocery release for the day and for the whole week. The idea is to uh, free her from worries and to let her um, do the things she likes to do and not thinking about the food, what, uh, whether she can eat, eat uh, something today, uh, what she'll be having for dinner, what she should buy t for tomorrow. Um, as soon as I've heard the logic and the structure of this project, it sounds to me like it was created to uh, make the most of WordPress multi-site, WordPress um, uh, core, um, custom post types, advanced, advanced custom fields, uh, and so on. But the team have already started custom development, and of course they were uh, eager to continue custom development. I would lie if I say that it was easy to persuade them to switch to WordPress. But after all neg negotiations, doubts, and uh, fears, we managed to do this. What we've done, um, we installed WordPress, uh, set up network, um, set up WordPress multi-site network, so now every diet uh, has got uh, its own subdomain, but they are still with, uh, um, has the same theme, uh, the same admin dashboard, uh, the same user base, the same code base. Um, we set domain mapping, so uh, every diet has got uh, its own subdomain, and uh, that's Ah, uh, and uh, also, the, uh, one more thing. Uh, we tried few membership plugins so, uh, to manage user subscriptions and picked the one that fit our pricing model um, best. So this is how we've got half an app uh, actually working in less than a day. And the um, development became easier and faster in no time. Uh, finally, we... Uh, ah. Uh, we use custom post types for meals, products, um, meal plans, and used uh, advanced custom fields and uh, taxonomies to um, connect them all together. And then add some spices, like um, bringing everything to front end, so user never get to backend uh, at all. Uh, adding favorite recipes, um, advanced search queries, and finally, 
at the end, we've got an awesome, powerful SaaS um, app in a short time that is ready for the further improvement according to the user's needs. This talk is aimed to uh, present the idea of using WordPress multi-site for building SaaS app and to making uh, it's really lean startup. Um, and um, we'll see why we might consider to use WordPress multi-site for this purpose, uh, examine some tools that can make the development even easier. Um, and um, what else? And of course, see the examples uh, of what is possible life examples of what is possible. Keep in mind that it will be a fairly general talk as we've got 25 minutes or so. SaaS, you probably know, but I'll say that SaaS is an acronym for Software as a Service. It's a way of delivering uh, service via cloud, uh, taking monthly or yearly fee uh, for using the software. Uh, users don't need to install and maintain software. Uh, they just access it via internet. It's easier if I present an example for you. Uh, just think about WordPress.com. We all know um, how easy it is to set up a website with WordPress, but a lot of people don't want to bother with it. Um, uh, they don't want to um, set up DNS, uh, think about database connection, uh, security um, plugins, theme updates, core updates, and everything. And WordPress.com offers users of uh, uh, users uh, offers users the service of installing WordPress, taking care of service, databases, security, and everything. And uh, while users just have um, to uh, just have an opportunity to access his website via browser or mobile phone and start writing posts or whatever. Um, just um, mm -hmm. uh, so that was the slide for that. Other example of stuff that I can think of are Slack, GitHub, Dropbox, um, Evernote. Uh, every startup founder has the same worry. You fear that your uh, product won't take off before you run out of money. So the traditional approach is to build a product completely and then present it to the market. But the problem is that after months of work and tons of money spent, you may find out that the product you've built uh, doesn't meet market expectations at all. The Lean methodology is aimed to hedge your risk and uh, to help you find the right product market fit as soon as possible. The idea is that everything starts with minimal viable product. You built um, a minimal viable product. Uh, it's a basic form of your product that will become more completely with time, according to the feedback of your existing customers. Um, then you use this um, loop. Uh, this build, measure, learn loop is the heart and soul of Lean Startup. You build a minimal viable product. Uh, you present it to your um, market, measure the result, and learn from that experiment. The effectiveness of the model uh, depends on how fast you can inter iterate through this loop. Um, this is how uh, step by step, you'll be making your mi minimal viable product uh, more complex. But first, uh, from the beginning, it should use as few resources as possible. Um, the rapid iteration of this process um, can lead you to the short uh, can lead you the short way to the money, because uh, you understand what your mm, Customers expect from you what features they want, and you are not guessing. The idea of Lean Startup, the aim of Lean Startup, um, to build the product your um, customers want, not the product you think they want. So in order to deliver the minimal viable product as up and getting to the point of making money, SaaS applications should be easy to build, 
it should be customizable, and of course, it should be scalable. And the question is whether WordPress multi-site is an appropriate platform to do something like this. Yes, it is. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that was exactly uh, that WordPress co-founder Matt Malwig um, have done with several of companies he runs. Jetpack, WordPress.com, WordPress, Akismat, that's all WordPress multi-sites and SaaS apps. Uh, Multisite can be an, an ideal platform for developing SaaS application, and this is why. First of all, it's very extremely scalable. These numbers of WordPress.com. Just look at the slide. 117 million sli uh, sites uh, in the network. 136 uh, million users in it. And over 1 billion visits per month. These numbers for the April of this year, so they might be even bigger now. WordPress multi-site is a short way to minimal viable product. That's why, uh, this is why. We have our five, minute, uh, five minutes install, mind 10 minutes for WordPress multi-site. And right after this, you have a um, fantastic built-in user system with multiple role, roles and capabilities at once. Now you just need to couple it with appropriate uh, membership plugin, and you can turn your website into subscription-based application. There is a number of membership plugins that offer different features, so after you defined your pricing model for your um, SaaS app, you can find the right fit for you. You can take money for um, paid memberships, uh, access to restricted content, uh, upgrades, uh, priority, priority support, um, the opportunity to set uh, top-level domain names, uh, the opportunity to switch themes, uh, that's all about your imagination. Uh, the next thing is separate environment for each site. With WordPress multi-site, you can do this. You can set separate environment for each site. You can change uh, theme. You can add different sets of plugins and themes de depending, of, um, depending on your niche. Uh, for example, free plan may include one default theme, but you can uh, allow users to pick another theme for additional charge. Uh, and domain mapping, extremely cool that we have domain mapping opportunities with, with WordPress multi-site. For example, you give, um, you're selling, for example, you're selling ability for wedding photographers to create their own website um, and use your uh, premium plugins and uh, themes at their own. You can let them make this as subdomain, for example, johndone.wedding.com, or use top-level domain name, johndone.com, for additional charge. WordPress multi-site is customizable. First of all, because of plugins, you don't need to uh, custom code everything because uh, you, you can use free or premium plugins that are already exist. Uh, they can, that way you can get the job uh, done and done it well. Uh, you can use themes to set uh, any appearance you want, move login and registration areas uh, to the front, so user will never uh, even guess he is using WordPress site. Uh, using custom post types, uh, you can create different types of content um, on your web, uh, in your app and connect it together as we have done in our startup. Um, custom fields let you customize any area you need. And the cool thing about custom fields is that you don't really need to customize everything at all, um, but you can let users uh, use custom fields, just give them the opportunity and say, hey, this is custom fields or advanced custom fields, customize whenever, whatever you want, and take additional charge for that too. And of course, WordPress hooks and filters give you unlimited opportunities to integrate far beyond WordPress. Uh, this is how you can get minimal viable product in surprisingly short time. The core component of Lean Startup is build, measure, learn, loop. Oh, well, WordPress <laughs> lose the letter. Okay. Um, 
built Me Measure Learn Loop. And um, there are a lot of third party services that will help you to, uh, to understand your users better for uh, services, for audit, uh, user tracking, um, analytics, feedback systems, and most of them already have integration with WordPress, so you will be able just to plug in and go. Uh, this saves you development times, uh, time and, let you, uh, and lets you run a Linux startup and create a solid product market fit. Also, WordPress multi-site is easy to use. It's the same familiar um, user experience that we all love about WordPress. So it's just easy to use. Um, WordPress multi-site is extremely scalable, customizable, flexible, and easy to use platform to, for building SaaS apps. Let's see some live examples of what is possible with it. For example, uh, niche blocks and directories. With multi-site, you can allow people to register and create their own uh, website. They will be given a unique URL, um, subdomain or top-level domain, depending on your settings. Uh, some niches I can think of uh, are hotels, restaurants, uh, doctors, artists, photographers, mm, travel agents, you name it. Um, money is made via paid subscriptions and advertising. For example, Event Smart is an online um, event registration and ticketing platform. It's created for event organizing, uh, organizers. Imagine you are going, um, you are going to organize some dance classes in your city. To start sell tickets, uh, you've got, you have to do a whole lot of things. Uh, set up website, uh, set up DNS, think about the way you'll be getting money, uh, think about ticket management system and everything. It may take a certain um, time and technical um, knowledge to do this. Instead, uh, you can sign up to Event Smart, for example, and start to sell tickets to your event right, to, uh, right away. After you sign up, uh, the website uh, with chosen name uh, created with you or for you, and you can start creating an event right away. Uh, you can fill venue, date, time, description of the event, uh, and uh, it will take you just few steps to sell uh, tickets for your event. Um, you can customize everything, including messages that you send to your customers. Uh, that's all in free plan. For example, in paid um, plan, uh, they offer change the um, the appearance of your website. Um, there are some additional uh, um, payment gateways and what else? More storage, more payment methods, uh, and uh, um, using promotional and discount codes. Uh, if you're organizing events. Uh, such kind of software as a service application can make your life much easier and let you do what you really want to do while, the, uh, while they take care of technical part. The another example are WordPress services. The business idea here is to take care of critical issues for you, uh, to, but you still do whatever you want to do with your theme, plugins, and your website in general. Um, besides, hostings, uh, besides hosting and server, um, they take care about security, about backups, updates. Uh, while it's not too difficult to set up a um, website with WordPress, many people prefer not to do this and uh, are eager to pay uh, someone to do this instead of them. Companies like WordPress.com, Pressable, WP Engine have uh, successfully built WordPress, uh, software as a service businesses by offering such kind of service. Some of them are aimed uh, to offer a very simple process of creating a website in a few minutes at low cost, for example, WordPress.com. Other found their niche in um, offering um, service for high traffic and demand demanding application. 
for example, Pagely, the uh, cheapest uh, plan costs $300, but for this uh, amount, you'll get consistently fast performance in any usage scenario. Also, software services, it's the most classical example, the most obvious example of software as a service app. For example, you've got some software business. Um, software for generating invoices, for example. The old way to, of selling it was to um, sell the whole package to the user once. But instead, you can let user um, use your service and take monthly or yearly fee for that or additional fee for some services. For example, Pressbooks uh, is a software that lets you create e-books, uh, e um, professional design e-books online. If you have your content ready, you just need to register. You've got a website ready for you. After you register, you've got a website ready for you, and you just start creating a book, um, arranging your content into chapters and parts. Um, it's um, it's really I tried the service. Uh, it's uh, really easy to create a book. Uh, it takes you only a few steps. You don't need any technical knowledge or anything to do this. You've got EPUB and Mobi formats ready for you, and uh, it will be watermarked in free uh, in free plan. Or while um, whereas upgrading, you get. Um, uh, PDF version of your book for the print of demand late, on demand later. Uh, and also you got your domain name public so other people can access your ebook via internet too. That's how they work. And such kind of service uh, you can get, with such kind of service uh, you can get ebook ready in no time with no special skills and without usage of professional software like Adobe InDesign, for example. Uh, WordPress multi-site is um, flexible, easy to use, scalable system. And uh, it may be a great choice uh, for developing software as a service. But um, despite of my personal affection for WordPress in general and for WordPress multi-site in particular, uh, I have to mention that it's just a tool. And tools should be uh, picked according to the task, not vice versa. So, not like this. Um, here are some links where you can find out more information about Lean Startup, about WordPress multi-site. Uh, I'll tweet them later today. Few plugins that we used. Uh, also, I'm excited to announce that I'll be offering um, free multi-site cons uh, consultations. So, if you want to build something with WordPress, not something. If you want to, if you have a project in your mind, uh, software as a service uh, or something else that you want to build uh, with uh, WordPress multi-site, feel free to contact me via Twitter or my website or anything. Thank you all for listening. I hope it was useful. Questions. Thank you, Sabrina. Uh, any questions? Anybody? Raise your hand. Oh, we uh, have one over here. Oscar, I believe. Uh, that was a great talk. Um, have there been any like big stumbling points for you using WordPress multi-site? Things that you didn't know about before you started using it that you'd advise people to take care of now? Uh, sorry, the things. Uh, can uh, I repeat? So, like problems that you ran into that you hadn't anticipated that turned out to be quite problematic. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, the problem uh, that I have before I started to use multi-site. Nope, just uh, during the course of using it, did you run in, into any big problems? Ah, into big problems. There are some problems when you're using something, right? Yeah. 
Uh, sometimes, yes, there are problems with um, uh, saving cookies across domains when they, uh, they are top-level domain names. When you have, uh, we have two, two types of uh, installation, right? Subdirectors and subdomains. Yep. But then you can turn subdomains into in being a top-level domain. Um, to switch, uh, it's not easy sometimes to set up this cookie thing. Uh, when you are switching between top-level domain names, but now when the main mapping tool is inside core of WordPress mm -hmm. multi-site, it became easier, so the cool. problem is solved. But sometimes, yeah, like, um, there are some particular but problems according to the project itself. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone else? Any more for any more? No? Okay. So uh, I suppose I've Got a quick question. Uh, so, do you have any like SaaS uh, project on your mind at the moment that maybe you'd like to start, but you're not quite sure if multi-site would be a good fit for that? Me? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I recently joined another multi-site uh, SaaS multi-site project that I was uh, um, that I was sharing in the beginning of the of my talk. Yes, so I don't have any other on my mind right now because I'm completely in it, that meal plan, mm, diet meal plan project, so not right now. So you're in the zone. Uh, but focused. maybe maybe uh, you guys have some project on your mind that you are not sure if WordPress multi-site fits right and you have um, some doubts or you want to know if you, the project that you are thinking about uh, is good, f mm, WordPress multi-site will be a good fit for it. Feel free to ask right now. I believe we have a question. Hi, Sabrina. It's a really Hi. good talk. Um, one thing you didn't ask at the beginning was how many people in the room have already launched a software as a service multi-site application? And I just okay, that's an interesting. Is anyone here? How many? Five. Six. Five? Okay. So, Oscar, come and talk to any of us. Seven. Right. Seven. Wildcard SSLs are a bitch. Right. <laughs> and we'll see how many people will be after the talk. Will there be a tribe? Yep. <laughs> any more? Oh, right over there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Just thumbs up. Right, okay. Good job. Okay. Okay. Round of, round of applause for Sabrina. Thank you.